YouTube, Aaron with Vacant Land Guys here. Got another property here in uh, Apache County, Arizona. It's uh, 60 acres. Got lots of privacy with junipers, pretty close to St. John's. We're asking $19,000 or terms. Um, it's a lot cheaper than all the other properties in the county for 60 acres. Uh, I'll go into that little detail later on. Um, here's some pictures of the area. Um, pretty close to the property. Some are at the actual property. Um, just give you an idea. So you got some junipers, some desert scrub, desert sage. Uh, looks like a little bit of grass coming up in there. Uh, there's road access. It's maintained by the POAs. Uh, it's a property owners association. Uh, so they'll take care of the roads for you. And uh, they'll also give you access to water. So here's here's where the property is, close to St. John's, about 47 minute drive, 23.4 miles. Um, this is how you access the property. There's actually, I think there might be a better way. I'll show you how to get in there um, a little easier. Uh, so here's Flagstaff. It's about three hours and 52 minutes away. Um, what else? Phoenix, about four hours and 35 minutes. Um, oops, sorry. Let me do that one. Concho, hour and four minutes. Uh, so here's directions to the property. So you actually say you're in St. John's. Uh, you go up here. You go up 20 miles to County Road. Uh, you go west at mile post 345, which is County Road 7230. So you can make a left on County Road 7230. Uh, this is Highway 191 right here, by the way. Or 666. That may be a bad omen, but we'll just go with 191. <laughs> uh, go up this way, and then you go up to 191, and then make a left on the county road 7230 at mile post 345, and then make it left here uh, after about five miles on the county road. And look for the entrance on your left, and it'll say Red Sky Ranch. I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. Uh, so you see something like this. It'll be Red Sky Ranch. Uh, they might have some paper up here. A uh, little Catagardi crossover. Uh, yeah, that's that's road sign 7121. There's a little grid of the area um, of all the lots. So each, so it's kind of like a checkerboard with BLM land and um, your private owner land. So you have BLM land here. This would be like your uh, property owners. So these are like little parcels split up in here. And this is a road. These all have access, uh, so they're maintained by the POA. So you have your BLM here, and you have every other one. It's all like checkerboard pattern kind of. Well, here's a few BLMs that are all. Uh, that's private. That's BLM. Private, state, state, BLM, BLM, state, BLM. You know, you can use all these BLM lands, um, and I believe you can do state too. Uh, but uh, yeah, you want to check on that for sure. Um, here's a community well you get access to as part of the POA that you'll, you'll pay into. I think it's two fifty a year. Uh, so you get water access and then they take care of the roads for you in case the roads wash out or something. Looks like they got solar here. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, it's in uh, Apache County. Um, lots of junipers. Um, it's kind of the southern sector of Red Sky Ranch on the cul-de-sac. Uh, road North 7158. Got juniper's grass, great view of, uh, get some uh, uh, prairie views, and you also have some, uh, I think you can see some, uh, what do you call them, uh, I'm sorry, been up all night, uh, mesas in the distance, <laughs> uh, and uh, go camping out here, uh, build a house, uh, probably do a trailer, um, you want to call the POA, make sure you can do what you want to do. Um, provide that information down here in a link in the listing for Red Sky Ranches. Um, like I was saying, uh, St. John's is about 47 minutes south of here. Um, get all your all your amenities there. You got restaurants, shops, grocery stores, um, all kinds of stuff. Just about everything you can need to get there. Uh, there's no neighbors around here in this area, so you're going to be pretty secluded. It's going to be private, nice and quiet. Um, Lots of junipers around you too, so if anybody does ever move in, you have all these junipers around you, you probably never see them. Um, yeah, it'd be a great place to get away for the weekend, you know, 
do some recreation. Uh, Petrified National Forests are sort of close. Uh, off to your east, you got the Painted Desert uh, as well, pretty close by. Um, yeah, similar parcels in the area, selling from 25k to 34,000. Um, we're also doing financing for all of our properties now. We're using Lightstream. Uh, I'll run you through that here in a little bit. Uh, if you want to see the land, um, if you don't you don't need an appointment. Just go out there, check it out. Um, we have the GPS coordinates below, um, provided right here. So you want to do this. You, this is your first set of coordinates. You just copy that. You paste that right into your Google. We're just going to do Google Earth real quick, just to show you how I do it. I'll just paste that in. You can do this on your phone too. It'll take you right to the property. Just kind of want to show you where you are in the world. I already dropped the corner coordinates here. So here's uh, part of the POA road that goes right through the corner of your property. Um, 60 acres. You got junipers all over. Um, looks like they might even fill up with water down here on the neighbor's property. Um, I think this is BLM land. I need to check that grid again. Um, I need to check that though. Um, but either way, you're going to have BLM land either over here or down here or up here. Um, I don't think to your north. I think this is probably POA here and POA here. So I think this is either BLM or that. But um, something you can look into, or I'll see if I can find out real quick. But uh, yeah, here's I'll just zoom into the land here. So here's your junipers. The mouse has been acting funny, so I apologize if it's kind of squirrely on you. Looks like you got a little road running through here, or maybe a game trail. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a meteor impact right there, possibly. I don't know. Maybe some of these build a campfire. Who knows? That might fill up with water there. Kind of cool. Uh, just flying around. I think those are train tracks off in the distance, way over there. Got some rolling hills, some mesas off in the distance there. Yeah, that might fill up with water in the winter. Or when it rains, whenever that is. It's the desert, so. Um, you're going to get all four seasons up here. Um, I noticed you can see some snow on this property. So it's not going to be hot like Phoenix. It's going to be it's going to be warm. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's Arizona. But, uh. It's going to be pretty warm, but it's not going to be scorching, sweltering hot like you get in Phoenix. Um, just zoom down real quick here and just kind of give you a lay of the land. So, pretty level, slightly rolling. Uh, these juniper trees are going to be like up high. You're not going to be able to like see through it like you can here. But yeah, just part of the property there. Let's get out of here. It's just kind of. So it's pretty level. Uh, yeah, you can see where there's a little snow there. The snow there. There's snow there in the shadows. It hasn't melted yet. It's just probably taking in. When is this taking? November 5th, 2015. A little snow there. So there's a little snow there. You're going to get all four seasons, you know. Uh, just kind of zoom out and show you where you are. Jeez, sorry, guys. Been acting up lately. Kind of get you facing this way because I wanted to show you there's another property for sale right up here um, over on uh, Land Watch. So, went over here to Land Watch and I was just doing a little research. Um, there's 50 acres uh, for 20500 We're only asking 19 and this is only 50 acres, so it's a pretty good deal. We're, we're the cheapest 60 in all of Apache. Um, so I sorted, I just wanted to show you, I sorted uh, Apache County, 50 to 70 acres land, price low to high, and uh, 55 to 65 acres. So this one's sort of close to this property. Um, it's only 50 acres, and they're asking more than we're asking for our 60. Um, looks like that's the train tracks. So I think this is kind of north of where we were asking. Uh, and here's another. This one's 63. They're asking 24,000. Uh, this one's pretty close to, still way more than we're asking for our 19. Yeah, I got the train tracks. Kind of close to the other one. Uh, yeah. But um, 
yeah, so I was just running some numbers. So for 63, just run some numbers. So for 60, we'll take 24,000 divided by 63. It's $380 an acre. Here's another one for 63 acres. So they're asking, let's see, we'll do. So, and then we'll do 25,000 divided by 63. They're asking 396 an acre. And we have got 19 acres, or 60 acres, and we're asking 19,000. So 19,000 divided by 60 equals 316 an acre. So we're only asking 316 an acre. And so you're saving about 70, uh, 65 to $75 an acre with our price. So we're still the cheapest all around by quite a bit. Um, uh, here in Apache County, here's another 50, here's 55 for 27.9. Um, that's really high. So we're way cheaper than these guys. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, anything else? Uh, oh, yeah, that's. I wanted to show you this. So this property right here on land watch that we were just at. This one is just north of where we our property is. So the property we're selling is literally see this little loop right here? It's part of this is our 60 right here. It goes down it'd be down there as you can imagine. And they're right up here. They're asking uh twenty five thousand. We're only asking nineteen. Say pretty much the same property, almost identical. It's three more acres, but we're asking, what was it? They're asking 396 an acre. We're asking 316 an acre. So, saving $80 an acre if you go with us. Anyway, um, yeah, go check it out. Uh, feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. 971-225-7024. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys.